So we're gonna play a little game. You guys have your own hermit crab shell um, on a piece of paper, and you also have some of the characters in the book. When we get to that character in the book, I want you to cut it out, and I want you to paste it on the hermit crab shell. We're gonna make our own special hermit crab as we read through this story, okay? Hi guys, so today we're going to read a story called A House for Hermit Crab. And this book is written and illustrated by Eric Carle. He is a famous author. He also writes the Very Hungry Caterpillar book and many other books that we've read before. I bet you can tell um, what books were written and illustrated by Eric Carle because he has a special way of painting his pictures. A lot of his books have these kind of pictures in them. Maybe you have some at your house. Okay, let's get going. A house for hermit crab. Time to move, said hermit crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit crab stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean. But it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new home soon. Hermit crab kind of reminds me of you guys. How many of you have had clothes that felt a little snug? You were growing up and growing out of your clothes. They get a little tight, right? You have to go out and get new clothes. That's kind of like hermit crab right now. He's growing and he said, this shell is too small. I need to find a new shell. Let's see what hermit crab finds. In early February, hermit crab found just what he was looking for. It was a shell, big and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and wiggling about inside to see how it felt. It felt just right, but it looked so plain, he thought. Plain means there's not much on it. So let's see what hermit crab does. Oh, how beautiful, look at these. In March, hermit crab met some sea anemone. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live in my house? It's so plain, it needs you. I'll come, whispered the sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. So if you're reading along with us right now, I want you to take the sea anemone picture and you can glue it on your Hermit Crab shell. So take some time right now to glue the sea anemone, find it on your page, Cut it out and stick it right down. There he is, the sea anemone, beautiful, swaying back and forth. In April, hermit crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the ocean floor. You see the starfish? How handsome you are, said hermit crab. Would you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled the little sea star. Carefully, hermit crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. Beautiful, how handsome those sea stars are. In May, hermit crab discovered some coral. Wow, they were hard and they didn't move. How pretty you are, said hermit crab. Would you be willing to come make my house look more beautiful? I would, creaked a crusty coral. Gingerly, hermit crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. So go ahead, now we have the sea star, and now we're gonna put the crusty coral on our shell. Beautiful. Let's add the crusty coral now. Does your hermit crab shell look like this hermit crab shell? We've got the sea anemone. Got the sea star, and now we have the crusty coral. In June, hermit crab came to a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hardworking you are, said the hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to come and help clean my house? I would offered one of the snails. Happily, hermit crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. So now the snails are going to join on his shell. They're going to help keep his shell nice and clean. 
Take a look. Does your hermit crab look like this hermit crab now? Great job. In July, hermit crab. Ooh boy, look at how spiky these are. Came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp, prickly needles. How fierce you look, said hermit crab. Would you be willing to come protect my house? I would, answered the spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, hermit crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. All right, now it's time to put the sea urchin, the spiky sea urchin on the shell. There it is. We got the snails, sea anemone, the crusty coral, the starfish. Oh dear, look at this page. That looks like some dark, gloomy, scary seaweed. Let's see what hermit crab says. In August, hermit crab and his friend wander, friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It's so dark in here, thought hermit crab. How dim it is, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see said the snail. It's like nighttime, cried the sea urchin. How are they feeling right now? Are they all feeling a little scared? Maybe a little nervous? Maybe a little bit worried? What's in there? Should they go in and see? Let's turn the page. Whoa, look who's come to help. So bright. In September, hermit crab spotted a school of lantern fish. They were darting through the dark water. How bright you are, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would, replied one of the lantern fish, and it swam over near the shell. Go ahead and find your lantern fish and have it swim over to the shell. There they are. Oh, it looks like someone else is joining. In October, hermit crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect. Go ahead, guys, and put your pebbles near your shells, too. Wow, so everything on Hermit Crab's shell does something special for him. It protects his shell, cleans his shell, lights the way. Makes it beautiful. Wow, there's the lantern fish. Zoom, zooming through the night, the dark ocean. But in November, hermit crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Oh no, he's growing out of his shell. Little by little over the year, hermit crab had, ha, hermit crab had grown. Soon he would have to find another bigger home. But he had come to love his friends, the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin. Where's the sea urchin? Oh, he's over here, spiky. Let's see, who else? The snail, there's the snail. The lantern fish, and even the smooth pebbles. They have been so good to me, thought hermit crab. They are like a family. How can I ever leave them? In December, a smaller hermit crab passed by. I have outgrown my shell, she said. There's a small hermit crab. Would you know of a place for me? I have outgrown my house too, answered hermit crab. I must move on, but you're welcome to live here. But you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little hermit crab. Whoa, check out this bigger shell. The following January, hermit crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said hermit crab. And he waved goodbye. There he is, he's waving goodbye to his shell. The ocean floor looked wider than he remembered, but hermit crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked a little plain. Sponges, he thought, barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. The end. The hermit crab reminds me so much of all my nursery and pre-K friends because 
just like you guys, you're all growing, right? And you're ready to move on to the next chapter of your life. Maybe you're going to pre-K. Maybe you're going to be a big pre-K leader next year. Maybe you're going to go to kindergarten. You're going to leave and you're going to have a new place to learn. Maybe in another classroom or maybe, um, maybe you're going to move on to a new school or into a new teacher, meet new friends. Hermit Crab was a little nervous about that at first, right? But then once he discovered all of these great friends that helped make his house special, it made him happy, right? It made him feel good. And that's exactly what I want you guys to know, that there might be some changes next year, but new friends to make, maybe new teachers to meet, maybe new things in your classroom that weren't there before. Lots of fun and awesome things happen when we cha make change and we move on. So I want you guys to remember that and remember the little hermit crab because just like the hermit crab's growing, so are you. I hope you have a good day and I hope you enjoyed this book. It's one of my favorite books. And maybe you can see if your house has any Eric Carl books. Have a good day, guys.